So this video is going to be about a glitch that I recently ran to with Rocksmith 2014 Remastered, where when I was trying to record uh, playback videos, um, record my playing, I would get video, but there wouldn't be any audio. And this was after a year of doing this. Uh, I like to cheat and you know not use a lot of editing tools. I just hit Windows Alt R and use the default recording device that comes with Windows 10, where it just automatically records your uh, your video games for you. Um, and it for years it worked fine, or for a year it worked fine, and then all of a sudden just stopped working. I'd get video, but I wouldn't get any audio. And I searched for you know months trying to find a solution to this, and there was just nothing out there. Um, eventually, I believe on Reddit or somewhere like that, I found a solution. And that's the solution that I'm going to share with you. So the first thing that I'm not going to walk you through, because um, I don't have Rocksmith open right now, is to open Rocksmith, choose your profile, press this, you know, like Jazz Bass or Guitar or whatever it is your profile is named. In my case, it would be Jazz Bass. Um, you know, open that up, let that load. And then it'll say Main Menu, where you have your Learn Song, all you know, Guitar K and all that stuff. And then I press the space bar to get into the tools. From there, I scroll down to options. From there, I go to audio options. And then for audio exclusivity, I make sure that that box is unchecked and it says audio exclusivity is off. So I'm sorry I don't have visual displays for that, but believe me, it would have taken longer and been more complicated to show you how to open all that up in Rocksmith. But that's just the first step and not the most important step. The most important step is to edit an INI file in Notepad, which comes with Windows 10, um, so that the audio playback, the default audio playback will be enabled because some sort of update or patch from Steam turned it off somehow. Um, at least that's my best guess. So what I do is down here by the Windows Start button, there is this little circle. If you don't see type to search field, just click on this little, you know, the table of contents or talk to Cortana is what that says. Uh, just click on that and start typing. In this case, I have the um, type here to search. So I'm going to type in this PC and then I'm going to open that by clicking on it. And in my case, all my stuff is installed on a C drive. You may have specific have multiple hard drives and chosen to install it elsewhere. Most likely by default, um, you just install it with the default settings and it's on your C drive. So double click to open that. Go to program files x86, not program files, but program files x86. Double click on that. If you got a lot of stuff, you'll need to scroll down. You're gonna find this Steam folder double click on that. Um, once you're inside the Steam folder, there's another folder called Steam. That's not what you want. You want Steam apps, all one word, Steam apps. Double click on that. The very top is a folder called Common. Double click on that. Down here, this will be all your Steam downloaded official games. Um, Rocksmith 2014, double click on that. And I know gamers, I didn't have a lot downloaded there. I've got another PC that has a ton of games. Um, inside this folder, which should look familiar if you've been um, watched our um, how to use custom songs with Rocksmith or any of our other videos, you've probably been in this folder before. You're gonna look for Rocksmith I and I. Okay, Rocksmith I and I. Just double click on it. You might get prompted, you know, what do you want to use for this? Do you want to use the app store? Um, you want to use Notepad. That's what you browse for and select if, if it's not automatically prompted to open that. And the line you're looking for is right here. Force default playback device. Now, for some reason, after this equal sign, the one is missing. There was nothing there. It's just totally blank. So I had to change it to one. And then I file, save closed it, closed it, lost Rocksmith, press Windows Alt R, opened up a song I wanted to play, 
and it played just fine. So that is how you uh, fix that glitch in Rocksmith 2014 Remastered. I can't wait to watch your videos and see how much you put me to shame. Thanks again for watching.